What is up readers? Welcome to another video. It's your boy. It's the book browser. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to discuss another book in the Seven Wonders series and that is going to be about The Two of Shadows by Peter Larangis. Okay, so people, I just want to let you know that my uploading schedule has some slight changes because of activities that I am going through right now, which are important by the way. So by this week and next week, I will be uploading on Mondays and Fridays. So the Wednesday will be omitted. Okay guys, so the next place we're going to is the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. And here, I believe that a mausoleum is where you store tombs. So that's why the title here is the Tomb of Shadows. And as you can see here, it's obvious that Jack is holding another new Loculus and he is defending the Loculus from these skeleton warriors, which is such a cool thing to see. Okay, so this book follows Jack, Cass, and Ali on their next adventure in finding all of the Loculus to treat their G7W disease. And it's very interesting to see what will happen when they find Marco again because Marco betrayed them in the last book. And so far, that's all I can say if you don't want to be spoiled. So stop this video if you don't want to be spoiled and I'll discuss the book after you read it. Goodbye. Okay people, so let's start the discussion of this epic book. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about Artemisia. So far, she's the new character in this book and I really hate her character in this book. She's so evil, she's so mean, and she tricked Jack and the gang into giving her Begad's soul, okay? This is a soul we're talking about, guys, a soul. And I really hate her for doing that and at the same time, I felt challenged for our characters on how they will get back the Gad soul because, you know, they must get it back. Okay, so the mausoleum at Halicarnassus is located at Asia Minor, which I believe is Turkey today. And I really thought that this place is very historic. I think that the people living there at Turkey in Asia Minor are very lucky because they have an ancient wonder at their place. By the way, I love the Griffins in this book because it reminded me of my all-time favorite series and guess what? It's Harry Potter. I'm a big Potter head and when I read about these Griffins, it made me realize that I really love Harry Potter. I also felt guilt for Jack because there is a scene in this book which is illustrated in the first part of this book and it's called In the Underworld. And you can see here that Jack is over here and when you read that scene in this book where Bigad just holds on to Jack's foot and I felt guilt for Jack because he can't let Bigad go with them because he turned somewhat different and I know that someday Bigad would go normal again and I really hope that day comes in this book because I feel so nervous, you know, Bigad, their master. Without their master, I can't imagine a good ending in this book without their master because they need Bigad in order to find the locations or clues in order to find all of the locations. So in this book, we finally found out where Marco went when he betrayed Jack and the Kara Institute. So Marco had been working with the Massa and he is working with Brother Yorg Yorgos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yorgos and Stavros. It's like Russian names. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's Russian names. And I really felt bad for him because I think that he's on the losing side of the game. You know? Because I know that this series is going to end well and Jack and the gang will be treated in the end of this book. So I think that Marco should just, you know, ch change his decision very early in order to get treated as well. I think the most touching part in this book was where Jack was finally reunited with his mother. And I really feel so emotional in the inside when I see or read or hear stories where um, long lost sons meet with their mothers because it's such a good feeling to have a mother on your side, to have a father on your side, or in other words, it's such a good feeling to have a guardian by your side. I am so happy for Jack because he was reunited with his mother. 
I think that Jack and his mother will have a good mother and son relationship at the end of this series but in this book I think that's not going to happen because when Jack finally got the Loculus of Healing and I think that's such a cool Loculus and the disadvantage of that Loculus is when someone is being healed by that Loculus, that Loculus shrinks and at the end of this book Jack threw the Loculus onto the train tracks in order for his mother not to get it because as we all know Jack's mother is part of the Massa and I was shocked at the end because I wouldn't I couldn't I didn't imagine such a scene would happen and I, I was not prepared for that scene I was surprised in the scene where Jack just threw the Loculus onto the train tracks and it just got destroyed and I was really shocked because I didn't expect that to see a Loculus destroyed they need that Loculus and I am curious on how are they going to fix it because they are going to need it in order to treat their G7 double disease. I just love cliffhangers for some reason at the end of this book, especially this one because it just makes me feel more excited and as well as it makes me theorize on what will happen in the next book. Okay readers, that's all of my time. That's all of my opinions on The Tomb of Shadows by Peter Lorenzis, The Seven Wonders series by Peter Lorenzis. I hope you read this series if you haven't read this yet because it's such a wonderful book. Even though at the back when it says it is for ages 8 to 12 and you're above 12 years old, well, if you really love books, you should read this one because first of all, as I have said in previous videos, it was full of illustrations and I really like the fact that it has many chapters but in those chapters there are very few pages which makes the reading a bit faster okay fellow readers thank you very much for watching this video until the very end and i hope i really hope you click that subscribe button leave a like comment down below and click the bell button right beside the subscribe button and i upload videos on mondays and fridays temporarily and as always, I will see you in another book video. So stay tuned and God bless.